In this example, we're told that a 30 kilogram wooden box is sliding across the floor at 16 meters per second. So here it is. This wooden box is moving along at 16 meters per second and it's skidding to a stop. Friction causes the box to come to a stop. Half the heat produced goes into the box. We know that friction generates heat and we're asked to find the temperature change of the box. Well, what you have to understand is happening here is that the kinetic energy of the box, it's moving. The kinetic energy of the box is what gets converted into heat because of the friction. So we can calculate the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared and we know all of these numbers. We know the mass is 30 kilograms and we know the velocity is 16 meters per second and we have to square that. And when we work that out, that comes out to 3,840 joules. That's the kinetic energy of the box. That gets converted into heat. So we're going to deal with heat and calories. So let's convert that to calories. 3,840 joules times one calorie per 4.18 joules and joules cancels and that gives us 919 calories. That's how much heat is produced because of the kinetic energy getting converted into heat due to the friction. Now some of that heat warms up the box, some of it warms up the floor. We're told that half the heat produced goes into the box. So let's take that number and divide it by 2. 919 divided by 2 comes out to 459 calories. So that much heat goes into the box. We want to know the temperature change of the box. The equation is Q is equal to MC delta T. So we just need to solve for delta T, the temperature change. Delta T is equal to Q over MC. And the Q is this 459 calories. That's the heat. The specific heat of the box, we're going to have to look up. The mass, we know, is 30 kilograms. I'm going to put that in as 30,000 grams. And then we also have to multiply by the C for the box. And we're told the box is wood. And so we look up the specific heat of wood is 0.4 and that's calories per gram degree Celsius. Now let's watch the units. Grams here cancels and calories cancels and we're left with degrees Celsius. Our answer is going to be 459 divided by this product 30,000 times 0.4 and when we do that we end up with 0 0.038 degrees Celsius. And You see this doesn't heat up tremendously um, that's a pretty small number. We're talking just under four hundredths of a degree. What really happens is you don't get this tiny, tiny temperature change applied to the box. What you get is a, a, a bit larger temperature change applied to a smaller mass on the bottom edge of the box or just the very bottom surface of the box. So if that heat were evenly distributed through the 30,000 grams, it would really be that much temperature change on average. What really happens is this thing sliding to a stop, the box really might get noticeably warmer, but only on the bottom. In other words, if we just considered the mass on the bottom, the part of the mass that's close to the floor, we'd have a much smaller M there and end up with a larger change in temperature. So this isn't entirely realistic. This, is, this problem is assuming that the box itself changes temperature uniformly. What really happens is that there's an overall change in the average temperature of the box by this much, 0 0.038 degrees Celsius. Just understand that in reality that temperature change is going to be concentrated and warmer down at the bottom and much less, much less through the rest of the box that's not in close contact with the floor.